Time now to install the shelves. Start by measuring the available height of the wall case to determine approximate shelf locations. Mark out your chosen distance on a story pole made from scrap. This will become your custom drilling guide. Square the first mark on the story pole. Then measure an inch either way of this line and mark again. You can add as many lines as you like, depending on how much shelf adjustment you want. Square these lines as well, and then mark the center line of each one. This will keep the holes looking straight. Drill pilot holes the size of your shelf hardware, and tape the story pole in place at both top and bottom to keep it from moving. Drill the holes using a piece of tape on the drill bit as a depth reference. Move the story pole to the back corner of the cabinet and repeat the procedure. The story pole technique is easy to create and eliminates measuring errors, guaranteeing the holes will be the same height all around the cabinet. These matching curved shells were built using the same techniques we used to build the bottom of the wall case. The crown molding was applied and the whole project was painted. Here's how to get these results. Sand everything with 100 grit paper. Then, spray on two coats of oil-based primer and sand again. Caulk all seams and fill all nail holes. Finish with two coats of semi-gloss enamel. A half-inch router bit was used to cut the ventilation opening in the plywood apron. The lid was removed, painted, and reinstalled. A solid wood lip was attached to the curved top and routed to match the bookcase. Well, building storage spaces has been so much fun, I'm going to look around for some other projects to work on. I know the attic and the basement and even the garage offer some untapped possibilities. I'll think about that tomorrow. For now, good luck and thanks for watching.